Can you imagine what it's like in the pitch darkness to hear that as three bullets whistle past your ear so close? A sniper has me in his sights and he's only just missed me. To be subjected to an attempted carjack execution awaits me. But she's too young and too traumatized to understand that her mother is already dead. Now, do you think it's any one of those things which came the closest to screwing my brain up? It's something that could happen to any single person in this room. Catastrophic thinking and depression. That's how I lived my life. I was constantly on edge. We were under attack every single day. Did I have symptoms of post-traumatic stress? Bad memory, tick. Nightmares, tick. Insomnia, tick. Violence, tick. I consider myself to be tough. Within the space of a few years, there was this perfect storm of events that happened to me. The breakdown of my relationship. I found out I was riddled with arthritis. I had the hips of a 70 year old. I had 11 operations, including a heart operation. I was told my days of being physically active were gone. Well, it felt like I was in a stormy ocean, like there were huge waves crashing in. And like every time a wave got me, it pushed me down under the water and I could feel my lungs burning. And I was thinking, how the hell am I gonna get back up to the surface for another breath? And that is how I found myself, standing on the London Underground, staring at the tracks, so alone, so lonely, so desperate, so worthless. And I had a decision to make. And so I chose to heal. I want you to imagine that this balloon is our brain. That's when we start getting stress in our lives and we start feeling overwhelmed. Why is it so hard to put your hand up to admit that things aren't going so well? If you are drowning, the last thing you're thinking about doing is putting your hand up. Why are we so afraid of failure? Why do we live our lives in fear, so many of us? We're creating a prison in our own mind. Once you've had this shock and awe event and you've gone through all these emotions, what you need to then concentrate on is hearts and minds. And I bet I could walk around this room and I could tell each and every one of you who your role model is. But your role model is you where you want to be. And each one of these images is just a moment in time. Life is just a series of moments. And what we have to do is we have to make those individual moments as brilliant as we possibly can. I spent my whole career living under the mantra that you're only as good as your next picture. That's having vision, right? So where do I fit in? I'm just a messenger. At best, I'm an educator. So the takeaways uh, for, for tonight are in terms of um, just kind of controlling your own mental thoughts and how you process problems. Uh, incredibly inspiring and impactful and um, really made me think. Yeah, it was emotional.